Hey everyone, Captain Kimo here, and this is chapter 5 of my HDR how to guide. In this chapter, we will be enhancing our HDR photograph in Photoshop. We'll be using Topaz Adjust and Topaz Denoise. Let's go ahead and start off by looking at the uh, photo that we're going to be enhancing. All right, this is a photo of a pier in Port Orange. Uh, take a good look at it because it's going to look nothing like what you see here. Um, we're going to go and make it look even better. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Let me go ahead and close that out. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up Photoshop. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the uh, background layer here. So make sure you have the background layer selected. Go into your layers and click on duplicate. We're going to call this layer multiply. And go ahead, click OK. And what we're going to do is change the setting to multiply. And we're going to change the opacity to 40%. Once you do that, we're going to go ahead and go to filters and we're going to apply Topaz Adjust onto the multiply layer. Now we're not going to go crazy in doing any of these settings here. Uh, we're just going to use a, a preset and we're going to use mild color pop. Go ahead and click on that and just click OK. All right, now that that's done, we're going to do something similar. We're going to duplicate the background layer once again. Go ahead and select the background layer and click on duplicate. We're going to call this layer overlay instead of multiply and click OK. Um, now we're going to change the overlay layer to overlay and we're going to set the opacity to 20%. Now that we got that, let's go ahead and go to filters. Make sure your overlay layer is selected and let's apply topaz adjust onto it. We're going to uh, keep it simple again and we're just going to use one of the presets. The preset we're going to use for this layer will be Neutralizer by George Diaz. Click OK. Alright, now that that's done, let's uh, go ahead and duplicate the background layer again. We don't need to worry about um, naming it because we're just going to use this to merge with the uh, other multiply and overlay layers. So select uh, your multiply layer, your overlay layer, and your new background layer that you just created. And we're going to merge those layers together. All right, now that we got that done, let's go ahead and use Topaz Denoise now because um, after going through adjust, you can see the uh, noise that's been created here. We're going to go ahead and remove that noise out by going into uh, Topaz Denoise. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, just click on JPEG HQ setting. We're just going to use a preset again and just hit OK. Now that that's done, let me uh, show you what Denoise did. Um, let me go ahead and zoom in here and as you can see this area here is pretty smooth so let me show you the uh, before picture. This was our original HDR photo and notice all the grain here that was created during uh, during tone mapping over in chapter 4 and when we click on the layer that we applied uh, Denoise in it really smoothed everything out. Denoise is a great little program it's great to, uh, or it's good to have when you're uh, doing HDR. HDR tends to produce a lot of noise. Alright, that pretty much sums up everything for this chapter, but you don't have to stop here. If your photo needs more enhancement, keep going until you're uh, satisfied with the results. I might go back myself and uh, touch up the colors, uh, but uh, I'm pretty satisfied for now. But before we uh, end this video, let's go and see the difference between the uh, original HDR and the, uh, the final enhanced version. So let me go ahead and minimize this and open up our... Uh, original HDR photo. Here is our original HDR photo and here is our enhanced version. Notice the contrast and more of the details is uh, popped out. The colors are a lot nicer. All from Topaz Adjust and the help of Topaz Denoise. 
This concludes chapter 5 and the completion of my HDR how-to guide. I hope this tutorial gave you a better understanding of how I uh, produce my HDR photos. If you're viewing this video from another site or other than my website, uh, drop by CaptainChemo.com to watch more tutorials and uh, see some more of my work. Until next time, this is Captain Chemo signing out.